All right, VMware Explore 2023. Uh, man, so many great announcements, John, this week. It's been pretty amazing. It's uh, it's fun because I think I know what all the announcements are, and then I'm like, wait, how did I miss that one? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the, the private AI stuff is, is pretty fascinating, and we've got a couple of guys that uh, have been pretty heavy at work on that, uh, you know, to make that a reality, uh, and I want to talk about some of the details of that. So joining the Virtually Speaking podcast this week, we've got Himanshu, our good friend from vSphere. Himanshu, welcome to the podcast. Thank you for having me. Yeah, and we've got Showbit as well, uh, also from CIBG, Product Marketing, uh, and we're going to talk a little bit about some of the announcements today, uh, but let's, let's take it from the high level. For those that did not see Chris Wolf unveil, what exactly is VMware Private AI? Well, I mean, if you look at AI in general, right? There's, it's the biggest buzzword in the industry right now. Absolutely. For a good reason. Uh, but the point is, this is something that's very nascent. It's just starting off, and it has a massive potential impact on the industry. And so, from a VMware perspective, we want to make sure that we are bringing the latest of industry technology to our customers in a way that is accessible to them, in a way that is very democratic, and, and making sure that there are, you know, we, we have focus on all the key things that enterprises really care about, about security and privacy and those kinds of things, right? So, VMA Private AI, it's an architectural approach to AI services that enterprises can actually consume, they can build, you know, and, and consume, while making sure that we are really focused on privacy of their data, right? So if you think about it, right, as you know, off-the-shelf LLMs are available today, you know, you can get all sorts of answers from them, but the value is when you can actually train those LLMs using your own proprietary data, your internal IP, and that's the that's when you can you can really unlock a lot of these interesting use cases. At the same time, you gotta make sure that that data is protected, right? Yeah. That your proprietary data does not get you know, that IP does not get leaked out to your competitors and all that. So that's paramount from a VMware perspective for sure, right? So that's one big thing. And then also, we want to make sure that customers have the choice to deploy. So we are giving customers that uh, uh, framework to have these different options, essentially. You can use open source models, you can use you know commercial models, et cetera. So that's kind of a high level overview of what private AI is. Shobit, you can add one more if you like. But wait, yeah. doesn't everybody just use chat GPT? Isn't that, isn't that enough? While while everybody does use ChatGPT, and uh, you know, some, compli so some compliance people may have other plans for where they're going. <laughs> right. That's right. That's right. So so again, that's the key piece, right? Um, there's kind of uh, consumer use and there's enterprise yeah, absolutely. use. Absolutely. So uh, we want to be making sure that you know all the you know compliance, all the security, all the privacy aspects, the control that enterprises really need uh, on their data and the value that's inherent in that data. Uh, is kind of taken care of. So, and that's Absolutely. where I think VMA private AI becomes important versus, you know, off the shelf at events. Yeah, I was obviously kidding. And, uh, you know, because there are some really great use cases. Shobit, maybe you can share some of the use cases that people are, are using for uh, something like this. Sure. Right. Um, I want to add one more thing to what yeah, sure. just said, right? Is the key thing about AI in general, right, is when you do these open source kind of models like ChatGPT, for not open source, but open models, right, like ChatGPT. Uh, there is risk of basically that data get getting sucked into the AI model itself, ah. and then entering basically that's where the leakage of the IP IP starts to happen. And once that happens, there's no way to really control it because it's algorithms. People are doing training every single day. It, there's just no way to control it. So I, I'm, I'm going to ask the model what uh, Pete's social security number is. So <laughs> we'll see what we'll, we'll see what insane questions he was asking it previously. If, if you ask ChatGPT, it would tell you it has no privacy, private information anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, true story. I've actually had some customers tell me like, oh, we're talking about this about ChatGPT. They were like, well, we don't want to have any of our information even discussed on ChatGPT. I was like, yeah. Okay, I understand. There, data, yeah. data IP is a, is a big concern. Absolutely. 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 And to answer your question about the use cases, I think the use cases are everywhere, basically. If you start thinking about it, the limits are, there is basically no limits on this entire thing. Because you're talking about very intelligent uh, uh, information retrieval, very, informa you know, very, very like, fast automation of data, uh, putting up processes which are automated. So that's kind of the stuff that uh, Generative AI does extremely well. Now, uh, the key piece about what we are focusing on, the biggest one is code generation, right? Because if you start looking at what the kind of libraries, et cetera, that are available already, there's a lot of redundant effort that developers have to do today, right, to uh, basically pull up, pull out code one by one that's easily accessible. So code generation is where we see a ton of potential, right? The sense. second one, 
is contact centers. Mm -hmm. uh, as an ex-contact center manager, several years back in a big company, uh, the experience of contact centers really boils down to basically uh, someone going through a ton of data to be able to provide information and good customer experience, which happens sometimes well and sometimes not. So that I, that's actually an industry I used to came from. I came from contact and answering service yeah. industry, and I think back to how we had like years of recordings, and then like occasionally we'd have to pull one for because someone was suing someone or some random liability. But now I never thought about yeah, you could take all those years of recordings, build a model off of it, and then basically be like, look, this is learned from every, you know, and then do some flagging of like this yeah. is a, this is what not to say to a customer. This is this was correctly handled. Wow, you could definitely like the chatbots might not feel. I feel like sometimes I get angry at the chatbot. I'm like, you're not helping me. You're stupid. So then the chatbot's feelings get hurt, um, or it files a complaint against me. But um, but no, we potentially get to a point that the chatbot itself actually could be like more useful than a, than even someone who's been around for six months on the job. Like that's incredible. Absolutely. Yeah. So private AI, VMware private AI, that's not a product, is it? VMware private private AI is a. Uh, architectural approach to doing AI services. Right. So what that means is you have the ability to take the infrastructural hardware that you want, right? It can be all the major uh, major OEM providers. On top of on top of that, VC, uh, VCF, right? Technology, and then on top of that, you can build open source open source models or proprietary models as you choose. Choose so flexibility of choice is the big thing built into that. Okay. Okay. So what, then what exactly, uh, I, I heard the term, because there's private AI, VMware Private AI, and then I also heard VMware Private AI Foundation. So what exactly is that? Is that a, is that a product? Yeah, so, so that is, that okay. is okay. a product that we, we announced, right? So yeah. VMware Private AI Foundation with NVIDIA. NVIDIA. So the thing is, right, we talked about the, the private AI itself, you know, as the kind of the architecture. There's reference architecture available for, for customers who can use that, build the models the way they like. But then also we have this commercial approach where we're working with you know, all the top OEMs with NVIDIA stack on top, or running on top of VMware Cloud Foundation, right? And so that is, I guess, you, know, you can call it an opinionated approach from VMware and bringing together all the collaboration that we've been doing with NVIDIA for a decade. And you know, more than that with Dell, HP, you know, Lenovo, everybody. So bringing all the best that's available in the industry and making sure that it's packaged in the way that it really works, right? While still giving customers all the choice, the, the, the control, the security, privacy we talked about just now, right? But the, in this case, it's just a matter of, you know, building up a stack that's ready to go, and it's easily consumable. You can just, you know, as a VMware customer, you can just buy it from VMware. Sure. Uh, and so this, you can get the best of, you know, from a variety of vendors in, an, in a very easy, consumim, consumable way, and then build your kind of Gen AI uh, strategy that way. I, okay. I, I like this, and it reminds me of some of the work we're also done with Tanzu, with, with things like the work we've done with Backstage and Tanzu Application Platform and other stuff, of, of trying to make you know, developer-ready infrastructure, or in this case, almost like data scientist-ready infrastructure, um, there's not enough developers, there's not enough data scientists, there's not enough of these people, and anything we can do to um, make them perform at a, at a multiple of productivity is, is really cool and hopefully will help out a lot of people. Yeah, and if you look at like the ecosystem that's kind of coming up, right, uh, the solutions that are very data scientist focused, it's just so many that are coming up, fantastic you know, experience built for the right persona. Uh, and that's why like, we want to make sure from a VMware perspective, we are you know, enabling and, and, and uh, you know, integrating with all of them or variety of them. And this is going to evolve. This space is so new. Yeah. Over time, it's going to evolve. And the one thing that customers can be sure of is that VMware is going to continue to bring the best you know, what's available in the industry to them in an easy way that, that works for them. This, this is reminding me of like the early days of Kubernetes or, or even containers where like you did Kubernetes the hard way versus now like you just buy a solution or you sub subscribe to a solution from a cloud and like, and, and the developer ideally is not interacting with containers. They're, they're summoning blueprints and templates yeah. and things like that. Yeah. It looks like we're, we're currently at the same rate to where there's a lot of kind of science fair experiments in the space and having to build and chisel your own, but the tooling is now coming together to, to move on. That's right. plus, plus the piece there, like you said, right, the, the amount of tooling that, that needs to be done, the SaaS components you have to kind of build, things like that, it's expensive and it's hard. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's where our built-in stacks are going to be extremely, extremely useful for customers. Go in and load up stuff very, very quickly. 
Yeah. I feel like this, you know, G GPU cards have already been really hard to get these days. I feel like this announcement is going to make that even harder. So if you're thinking about it, you might want to get those cards now, right, John? <laughs> well, yeah, no, it's, uh, the orders, is, they're fun to get in. In fact, what, I, I got to disappear. I'm going to go buy some more GPU stocks. So. <laughs> great stuff. Well, we're going to leave uh, links to all of the announcements, the announcement blog. There's a lot of great content out there this week uh, as it pertains to private AI, but also the private AI foundation with NVIDIA. Uh, so, yeah, I will have links to all that. Showbit, Damanchi, thank you so much for joining us this week, and enjoy the rest of your explore. Great. Thank, thank you very much. much. Thank, thank you, guys. Nice. All right.